Hey guys, welcome back to Input Plus. Today's video is about uh, AIO pump orientation. So um, um, I did a, a video of my Corsair H60, the newer generation, um, replacing this first gen uh, Corsair H60. And if you want to catch that or watch that video, uh, click on the link up here. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, pump orientation. Does it matter or does it not matter? Uh, but before we go into that, uh, if you haven't subscribed to Input Plus, we would truly, I would truly appreciate it if you did. And if you like this video, click on like and leave a comment if you would like to do so. Um, so yeah, what I did was, as you would see, uh, as you can see in this um, in this picture, maybe here or there, um, you can see that the pump orientation when I installed the newer H60 was a bit, or not a bit, but it was sitting in this, I'll replicate the situation. It was sitting like this. And I can't remember the exact reason why I did that. I think it had to do with uh, the RAM heatsink clearance on that uh, in, in my build or in my setup where um, I guess I was just too lazy to remove stuff and I just wanted to install the AIO. And I think the tubes were getting kinked. So I didn't want, you know, the uh, uh, fluids to get trapped anywhere. So I just said, you know, it's best that it went in this orientation. And true enough, as you, as you, if you saw that video, um, it performed fine. It was a lot cooler than this old one. So time had passed, you know, and uh, I keep looking at that LED and it's staring me. It's staring at me like in this manner where the Corsair logo is sideways. So I said, well, maybe it's time that I experimented and see if I can actually reorient the pump so that it will be in its proper position. Like so, as you would see in this pic, which where I eventually turned it around and um, put it up the way it should be and then as you can see when the pump was in the improper i call it improper orientation um this is the uh, temp i got from playing and i think it's showing 78 celsius or 77 78 celsius so which is okay so it was acceptable i was getting with this aio as high as 84 85 so it was an improvement when i changed to the newer Corsair H60 and like I said it was bugging me so I said I would reorient it in the proper in this proper fashion so as you can see I did so and then um, this um, screenshot showing me uh, topping out at 72 and so I did get a um, six five to six degree Celsius difference in temperature while gaming so my quick answer to that, based on my experience, my experience alone, is it matters. Um, for me, at least for me, it did. So, I mean, I don't have a scientific way of experimenting. I have limited equipment. It was just my experience, and I wanted to share this with you with this quick video. Um, so uh, try to make sure that, you know, make sure that the pump orientation is the way it should be. Um, just a quick comment, maybe it's because the tubes are sitting up top in this orientation. And that's why it wasn't ideal. It, it worked, but it wasn't ideal. And so when I did this, I guess the uh, flow was a lot better. So I could be missing something, didn't see this video or did not see this um, website about pump orientation, but just sharing with you my experience and just a quick video about that. So if you like this video, again, like, please click on like. And uh, if it helped you in any way, uh, subscribe to the channel. I've got more videos coming up. So if you want to get notified, that's the best way to do it. So until then, guys, see ya.